How does she expect me to keep her respect when she doesn't expect the respect for the club? Am I wrong, Yuri? Oh, hello. And welcome to the episode where all the secrets get revealed. Maybe. I hope so. Uh, there's Respect Part 1 of Doki Doki Literature Club Plus. In, uh, within it, it's inside the game. Uh, and we're playing it. And this is going to uh, introduce Natsuki to the, to the group. It's been several weeks since the club has officially started. Through their initial setbacks, the three club members so far, Monica, Sayori, and Yuri, have increased their collective bond within the club. Sayori has partaken in some of Yuri's high fantasy literature, and all three of them, led by Sayori, have taken an interest in poetry. On a day like any other, the three find themselves suddenly interrupted by the club room door opening, and in walks a girl none of them have seen before. Ah! She scared me. It's Natsuki, and she says, Hey. <laughs> Sayori talks excitedly at Monica's sleeve. Yuri shifts in her seat and buries her eyes in her book. Are you here for the literature club? Yeah. Yay, that's great. Thanks for stopping by. It's kind of a small club still, so it's really exciting to see new faces. Yeah, come sit down somewhere. You can sit next to my desk. Sayori prances over to her desk and presses her palms onto it. Oh, and Yuri can make you some tea. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Yuri looks up at Sayori in protest for having drawn attention to her. Natsuki silently glances between everyone, then sits down next to Sayori. Monica follows by sitting nearby. The sudden gathering prompts Yuri to stand up, deciding that standing in the corner and making tea doesn't sound so bad after all. Okay, then how about we all introduce ourselves? Okay. Well, I'm Monica, the one who started the club. I was originally in the debate club, but... I really wanted to do something I felt more passionate about, if that makes sense. So I started the Literature Club as a way for people to express themselves through writing, or reading, or whatever other kinds of literature. You know, I figured it was your club. You have that vibe. <laughs> what guy? I have what vibe? Oh, you know, like, never mind. I'm not gonna judge people I just met like that. Very, very adult-like of you. I always judge people so hard. Oh, no, you don't say, Ori. Uh, yes she, yes she does. Yuri's deadpan voice carries across the room. Natsuki giggles. <laughs> I'm Sayori. I just like learning about everyone and making friends. Oh, and I also like poetry. Oh yeah, very adult-like of you. <laughs> I'm an adult. <laughs> the sound of Yuri's electric kettle steaming up fills the room. Oh, that's Yuri. Sayori lowers her voice. She's kind of shy, but she's really nice and super smart. She likes big fantasy books and tea, and I love her. Well, I guess that leaves me then. I'm Natsuki. I like listening to music and hanging out downtown and stuff. And my favorite ice cream flavor is strawberry. Oh, let's get ice cream. My favorite flavor is probably cookie dough or maybe chocolate. It's cookie dough. And Monica's is probably vanilla. What? What the heck? I take way too many online quizzes. The ice cream ones are always accurate. What's Yuri's favorite? Natsuki shrugs. Probably green tea. <laughs> I'm just joking. I have no idea for Yuri. Still, it's pretty chill here. Do you just like hang out or do you actually do club stuff? Ah, well, we do club stuff too. It just hasn't been very structured yet since we only have like three members. So we just kind of loosely spend our time doing this stuff we like. But I keep thinking it's about time we start with like more, some more structured club activities. It's been a while by now since I started the club, so, yeah. So, I'm wondering, in the original game, wasn't it uh, within the story that we came up with the whole writing poems together? It was like, yeah, that's a good idea. We should write poems and read them together tomorrow. So, I don't think they're going to do that in this. Uh, well, with that being said, what kind of literature are you into, Natsuki? Anything you'd like to the club to get into? Ah, well, I guess I'm... Literature. Well, I like manga. Manga. Hey, why'd you say it like that? <laughs> I want to read manga in the club. Wait, hold on a second. That sounds so great. Like, after all, I've been doing all this, um... Yuri returns to the desks with a tray of teacups, which he sets down on an empty desk. After all, of the deep and immersive reading I've been doing, I wouldn't mind doing something a little more simple. Manga isn't simple. If you think that, you just don't understand the nuance. 
Ah, uh, I didn't mean simple like that. Well, anyway, putting manga aside. Wow, okay, Monica. Uh, is there any other kind of literature that you're interested in? Well, not really. In that case, have you considered the anime club? Are you serious? I'm not gonna join the anime club. It's full of weird guys. Come on, isn't... Uh, is that big a deal? Manga's literature, right? Um, I mean, I guess if you consider the literal definition of literature, then technically... I get it. Look, I'll do whatever club activities you want, but can I please join? I won't bother anyone. If I can just, like, keep my manga here and hang out after school, I'll do literally whatever you want me to do. That's fine, right? Yeah, I guess there's nothing wrong with that. Oh my god, thank you. You're the best. I have, I have most of it crammed into my locker, so I'm gonna start getting it, okay? Natsuki stands up. Need some help? Nah, I got it. I don't want to see. I don't want you to see my locker. <laughs> if you say so, there's no uh, way it's worse than mine. I hope we never find out then. Natsuki exits the club room, leaving everyone in silence, save for the sound of Yuri sipping her tea. And leaving Mr. Red's voice to heal for a second. Ugh, oh, I'm such a pushover. Hey, it's not that bad. Natsuki seems like a lot of fun. Maybe, but I mean, she has like, no actual interest in literature, you know. And that's normally fine, but she said she would participate in club activities like it's some kind of obligation. Her tea is good. Her tea is, her tea, hold on. Her tea is gonna get cold. Yeah, wait, that's not related. <laughs> Well, I think everyone deserves a chance, especially if we can bring her happiness. Besides, maybe she'll take a liking to literature. Are you sure you just don't want to read her manga, Sayori? Hey, who do you think I am? Sorry, I didn't mean that. I just feel really uneasy about this. Do you have any opinion, Yuri? Not particularly. She said she wasn't going to bother anyone. That includes me, so... <laughs> Does that mean I bother you? No, you're a pleasure to be around. <laughs> I was just fishing for a compliment. I know. I know. But still, I really think we should give her a chance. Yeah, all right. But I really am going to start enforcing club activities. I'm willing to cooperate. Suddenly, the three of them hear a thump against the door. Thump. What was that? Sayori stands up, walks over to the door, then opens it. Mm, thank you. Carrying three boxes of what is presumably manga, Natsuki grunts and wobbles inside before slowly bending over and dropping the stack onto the floor as gently as she can. That's quite a collection. Sayori giggles in excitement. While catching her breath, Natsuki replies, There's still one more box. I can put them away myself. I know how to organize them. Monica anxiously glances between Sayori and Yuri. Is this really okay for the club? Maybe it's what she needs to really kick the club into gear before everyone gets too complacent. It seems like things are finally going to start getting more serious. Well, we'll see about that, won't we? At the next club meeting, Monica is the first to arrive, but ever since Natsuki joined, she feels a lot less relaxed. Uh-oh. Why am I so nervous? Monica paces, trying to figure out her feelings. Natsuki said she wasn't going to bother anyone, so why does it feel like the atmosphere has changed so much? Well, Monica thinks, the club door opens, revealing Natsuki carrying a box. Monica forces a smile as Natsuki makes her way to the closet. Natsuki forces one in return. Need help? No. No, I got it. Monica awkwardly tries to start some kind of conversation, but fails. Curious, she peeks into the closet while Natsuki is stashing all of her manga. Once dull with school supplies, the shelves are now vibrant with bright colors and cute-looking artwork. You know... You know, the top shelf is pretty empty. Maybe you, we could keep it up there. I can't reach up there. That would be so inconvenient. Yeah, but... Monica sighs. The teachers are going to ask what all this manga is doing here, and I have to tell them it's for the literature club. So? Monica backs off and slumps into a desk. She does not like manga. Hmm. With this kind of tension, it feels like the relaxed atmosphere accumulated over the past weeks is being sucked right out of the room. Uh-oh. Good afternoon! Sayori spins into the club room. Oh, I see someone's in a good mood. Yeah, because I have this. Sayori brandishes a cookie wrapped in plastic. Hell yeah. Wrapped in plastic. Hello. I found some money and got a cookie. Ooh, that's so pretty. As Sayori trots over to the closet, the colorful shelves catch her eye. Which one do I start with? Well, you can start by giving me a bite of that cookie. No way. I saved up all my luck to find that money. 
If you want entry into my kingdom, you need to pay the tax, peasant. Boo. Defeated, Sayori unwraps her cookie and breaks off a piece for Natsuki. Then, Yuri silently walks into the club room. Monica glances at her with pleading eyes. Yuri returns a quick nod of understanding. Well, everyone's here now. Despite the club only having one more person than before, it somehow feels twice as lively. Okay, so I think we today we should go over some potential club activities and see which ones we want to do first. We have four members now, so it would be great if we found some stuff to do as a group. Does that sound good to everyone? I agree! Okay, so we have some ideas of my own, but I want to hear your ideas too. Well, I've been having a lot of fun learning about everyone else's interests. Maybe we can give each other, each person, a day to share their favorite kind of literature with everyone else. Well, maybe. Something tells me that... Monica glances at Yuri and Natsuki, who appear very unwilling to even consider each other's interests. Maybe we can try to come up with something that everyone can enjoy equally. You know, like we all vote on a book to read or something like that. I think we should all collectively try to expand our interests rather than to just stick to the things we're familiar with. Why does it feel like I'm being targeted here? Natsuki, didn't you say that you would go along with whatever the club wanted to do? Well, yeah, but that doesn't make it okay for you to ignore everyone else's preferences. I like Sayori's suggestion. Yeah, me too. Yeah, but... Mm. Monica's voice trails off. Although she let Natsuki join the club, Monica finds it difficult, incredibly difficult to relent to her demands. What? Monica finds it incredibly difficult to relent to her demands. If Natsuki doesn't respect the club, why should Monica have to yield to Natsuki's opinion on anything? Natsuki, are you sure you don't have any other literature interests you could share with the club? I swear, I don't mind if you keep your manga in here, but I just... Natsuki cuts Monica off by suddenly standing up. Well, it's obvious I'm not wanted here, so I'm just gonna leave. But I really would have appreciated you being more upfront about it. Okay, I think you're kind of jumping to a conclusions here, but you're free to do whatever you want. Natsuki shoots Monica a quick glare before walking straight out of the room. Oh no! Oh no! Sayori runs after her, leaving just Monica and Yuri. For the second time today, Monica slumps down into a desk. Why am I such a jerk? No, she's a jerk. She's making me feel this way. Monica looks up at Yuri, seeking affirmation. Yuri looks away. She probably just went around looking for the smallest club she could find so that she doesn't have to participate. How does she expect me to keep her respect when she doesn't expect the respect for the club? Am I wrong, Yuri? I'm not... I'm not good at these things. Monica sighs. Me neither. I just have no idea what to do. I don't want to hurt anyone, but I feel like it's wrong to enforce the club... It's not wrong to enforce the club WandaVision. You know, like... People should join because they want to express their passion for literature, or at least develop it. So, maybe she's not a good fit for the club after all. Monica sits in silence, afraid to accept her tentative conclusion. Yuri looks tense, but she doesn't seem to want to add anything. You can... Sorry, you can go back to reading. I know this doesn't concern you. It does. It does? How? Well, I just can't comfortably read in an atmosphere where the peace has been disturbed. Oh. Well, great. I'm just ruining the whole club, then. That's not an accurate conclusion to make. I know. I'm sorry. I'm just kind of voicing my frustration, and I guess guilt. It's like my frustration wants to blame her, but my guilt wants to blame me. Ugh. Why is it the hardest to be rational during the times you need it the most? I don't think you're being irrational. I think Natsuki is. She has no authority to walk in here and make demands of the club. Your club. Something as ridiculous as manga has no place here. The fact that you're even storing it for her should be completely indebted to you. Should make her completely indebted to you. Well, you're right, but... I don't know. Isn't it kind of harsh to say things like it's ridiculous and it has no place here? Whoops! I skipped one. Do you not feel the same way? You've been doing everything you can to avoid associating the club with it. So I assumed you felt the same way about it. That's not true. Well... Recalling our confrontations with Natsuki, a realization starts to set in. Hmm, you may be right. I mean, if it was anything besides manga, would I really be acting like this? Maybe I've just been convincing myself that it has nothing to do with the manga. I'm really upset that I would let myself do that. Ah. With a sigh, Monica walks over to the closet. She finds herself staring at the colorful shelves. It's just, this really isn't what I had in mind for a club about literature. 
There shouldn't be anything wrong with that. Monica starts defending her position once again. It's a complicated issue that Monica had failed to consider before now. Where is the line even drawn at what's considered literature? Alright. This game's going into some weird directions. When's it gonna get horrific? Lost in thought, she reaches into one of the larger boxes and box sets and pulls out a volume, inspecting it for no particular reason. The cover features four girls striking cute and exaggerated poses, all dressed in short skirts. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, amused by the absurdity of the cover, Monica opens the book. All right. Whoa, okay. That's just it then, we're done, huh? Okay. I got a new song. It's in here somewhere. New picture. This one. Okay. All right, and then I open up the next side story. Eh. Well, that's a short episode, I guess. All right. Well, before we, before we continue, I'm gonna I'm gonna look at I'm gonna look for any more secrets. I couldn't find anything. Uh, we're gonna end the episode uh, now, and the next one we'll do the next part of uh, respect part two, uh, because it's coming out tomorrow. So you won't have to wait too long, which is good. Uh, so we'll see you then, everybody. Until then, I've been Mr. Red. Uh, stay spooky out there, and remember, keep watching. Uh -huh.